Hashtag the crew show. Power 106. Oh, yeah. The breakfast burrito is here. Yeah. Breakfast burr. Do you it's mind? Like a pillow. Yeah. Do you mind taking your first bite live with the crew show? Oh. Okay. Oh, she's, oh, she's correct- enjoying it. She's, she's enjoying it. it. She loves it. I love it. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. It smells fresh. Take a bite. I'm going to. Okay. How are those mushrooms going to taste? No, no mushrooms. If there's mushrooms. <laughs> My no mushrooms. Part of Nancy, the burrito, if there's mushrooms, I'm going to start a Twitter beef with you. See, like, I can't eat it this way that because the cheesy. best part is the ends. Like the butt oh, of it. Yeah. yeah. That's the yeah. best. The extra tortilla. Eat oh, burrito butt. Uh, eat burrito <laughs> butt. Eat burrito <laughs> butt. Yeah, here. <laughs> is that good? Mm-hmm. Iggy loves <laughs> her burritos. <laughs> Somebody out there watching this right now is loving all of that in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag the Cruise Show, Power 106. So being nominated for a Grammy is obviously a major thing in your life. Just to be nominated is probably uh, yeah, I never one of the best I'd feelings be ever. ever. But when you didn't win, were you almost relieved? Uh, hell yeah. I did not want to win that's that award. That's crazy. Did you have a speech ready in, nope. for that event? No. Nope. And that's probably what My made you most nervous. My speech should have been like, fuck this. Ah! I don't want it. Take it. Ugh. Right? <laughs> Get away from me. Throw I mean, me shit to have, to have yes. a Grammy is, is like the pinnacle. I mean, that's amazing. But want, well, to, I was nominated for four just saying so yeah I yeah I know, I know i know come on that's, come small. On. that's not small my g but when it yeah. came to the best rap album it seemed as if people were were highly upset about that for whatever reason i know which i found to be kind of ironic because it was because i'm white so therefore i'm appropriating culture but then eminem won it who's white and has won it many times and they didn't seem to say anything about that so true I was like Mm. And you're female. Uh, Females in hip hop don't get a lot of respect. You know, I suspect it was just that you dislike me. You know, um, um, YG came in and he was upset that he didn't get nominated, and he was like, "You know what? My girl Iggy is nominated though, and everyone keeps shitting on her, and I support her 110 percent." Wow, that's dope. Yes, YG too, and I, I was. I was really disappointed that, uh, especially that Mustard didn't get nominated. Right, sure, producer, because I feel like. I don't even I don't want to say anything bad about the Grammys, but I really do feel like I feel a little like hip hop was really kind of overlooked, mm-hmm. and I am disappointed about that because it's it's so impactful and global on our culture and everything that we do is really influenced by it in one way or another. And mm-hmm. so to have it kind of I feel like be swept under the rug this year, I was a bit disappointed with that and that we didn't really have that represented in that category, especially with Mustard because he. You know, you every, put in the work. Ev- every song sounded like a mustard beat. Everyone Absolutely. wants a mustard beat. If it wasn't a mustard it beat, just, it sounded like right. a mustard beat. It did. So I feel like that was, you know, somebody that kind of impacted culture in some way this year. And yeah. it was a shame not to see him be represented as well. But I'm really happy that I was thought of. Um, and I... I appreciate just that, and I'm glad I didn't win because people already hate me enough. <laughs> you don't. You didn't need it. Obviously, no. you're on everyone's radar. I do not need to be hated anymore anymore i know it's like a gift and curse like if you would have won that would have been amazing if you would have lost i mean you know now that you lost people tend to leave you alone a little but still i'm sure there was still some trolls out there that was the worst too i was like god damn are you ever going to leave me alone i lost you should be happy shit bye i know i know i know what stresses you out by the way stresses me out um i don't know nothing really anymore i'm over it now really yeah I'm well what well in in life in life what stresses me out people being late well i'm always late <laughs> also, <laughs> mushrooms i have to paint my entire face on and tuck my penis so it takes a while wow. <laughs> yeah exactly isn't by the way crazy? she's not a man guys wow. isn't I, that crazy like that was, like I was born a man named Corey. Apparently, I got a sex change at eighteen. And I told MTV that. Yeah, that was Whoa. ridiculous. What is the craziest wow. thing you've heard of yourself? I would imagine that that's pretty crazy. But I feel that people keep upping their crazy on rumors about you. The penis thing was interesting. <laughs> I'll admit that. I liked that because I was like, "Ooh, I'm famous now. I have a penis." <laughs> That just makes me powerful. I, I love you. That's probably bad news for Nick, I though. I got a big yeah. old dick. <laughs> Nick was like, you got a penis? He's like, all with that yeah. thing out then. Suck my big penis. I was like, mm, yeah, I got a big penis. <laughs> but if you did have that. a penis, it would be a big one. You yeah. don't want a little one. I was like, man, I had a big slab. So I liked that. That was cool. Um, What is a bad thing that you hear? Probably me having to deal with people 
like photoshopping things that I say and then other people really thinking that they're true. Like there'll be so many things where it'll be like, N word this, or like, I hate every race. And I'm like, this isn't even the right amount of characters to be a real tweet. <laughs> I don't hate anyone. I know, there was a tweet about you hating Mexicans going around. There's a I was tweet like, about me hating Asian people, a tweet about me hating black people, everyone. But oh, that makes sense. I hate everyone, apparently. Yeah. I don't hate anybody. Um, so that kind of annoyed me just because... You know, nobody wants to be called a racist. Sure, like, sure. I am. Nobody wants to feel like they're like Hitler, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're not <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I was. Let's get this like, off your on, chest, man. That you, was. I thought that was kind of weak. That was lame. You have ten seconds to cuss them out. Everyone who shitted on you. Ladies I just up. think that was lame. I don't think you really even believe it's true. I think you just want an excuse to hate me, so you went for that one. I don't even believe that anybody's dumb enough to think that's real. And if you just dislike me, say you dislike me, and it's completely fine. But don't try to say that I'm a racist. Easy call. She's not a racist. She's there not a man. Is. She doesn't have a penis. Iggy Azalea. And if I did have a penis, <laughs> it would be I'd big. stick it right in the back of your throat. Hey! Yeah. You made a lot of eye contact with yeah. me during that, so <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable. Power 106, hashtag the cruise show. Iggy oh, Azalea yeah. is on with us. Best then, better now. Get yourself a pair at Robert Wayne Footwear.